This will be an installation of the spring base on a KR series Satima safety catcher. Lay out all of the spring base components. Remove the proximity switch holder as well as the breather and pressure plug for the Satima safety catcher. Start by sliding the seal and white spacer over the Satima safety catcher on the bottom shoulder. You may need to mark and notch out the white spacer to get it over the riveted tag. Take the spring base housing and slide it down over the safety catcher. The inner lip should rest on the white spacer. Turn the safety catcher upside down so you can see the bottom of the catcher. You can now set the spring on the bottom of the safety catcher. Next, take the bottom plate and set it on the spring the spring should sit in the counter bore of the bottom plate. You will need to use something to hold the housing of the spring base up, such as cut 2x4s. Using two threaded rods or long bolts with nuts, you can put the bolts through the through holes on the spring base bottom plate. Another option is to use an arbor press. Now you can line up the bolts with the safety catchers, tapped holes, and thread them into the safety catcher. The bolt thread sizes are dependent on the safety catcher size. See the data sheet on Satima safety catchers for the size units. Once the bolts are installed, you can now start compressing the spring using the nuts on the bolts. You only need to compress the spring enough for you to see the snap ring groove in the housing. Now you can install the snap ring into the housing. With the snap ring installed, remove the two nuts and bolts. Reinstall the proximity switch holders as well as the breather and pressure plug. You have now successfully installed a Satima spring base on a KR series safety catcher.